Hey Plenty people, welcome back to 31 days of daily uploads. So if you've been watching and sticking with the daily uploads, we've already covered some tips and tricks on lipstick plants. We've uh, we watched me water my plants. Uh, what else? We've watched me do a repotting. So how about a tour? And let's kick it off with my philodendron tour. Um, I do have a few of these. Um, some of them are common and uncommon. I don't think that I have any like rare, um, rare plants. I don't think I would call them rare. I think I just call most of them uncommon because a lot of my um, plants that I have, I would definitely classify them as you can't just walk into a Home Depot, a Lowe's or Walmart or any type of like big box store and just find them, but they are all over the internet. They're just expensive usually typically and it's kind of hard sometimes to find a good deal sorry i keep looking out the window because my neighbors are outside and i'm uh, paranoid that they're going to be looking at me i'm really self-conscious about that um but today is day one of my vacation so if you want to grab a beer and chill with me let's get started let's get started with my philodendron brand tianum this guy is really like He's kind of leggy-ish, but he's not. He's kind of like really wild and crazy. I love how silver uh, his leaves are. I think they're really cool. And whenever they come in, they're kind of yellowish, um, yellowish, reddish, rusty. They're, they're like a rusty color. That's a good, that's a good um, explanation for this guy. Um, he actually needs to be watered probably about once a week, give or take, and I actually have him sitting directly in front of my window. Don't ask me which direction it is because I am direction illiterate. I just know that he sits right out in front of my uh, bedroom window on like, I kind of use uh, the strings that you, um, what is it, that you adjust the blinds with. I just set him on those strings and that's where he lives. He's having a good time. I've had him for a good few months now, three or four months now, and he's put out a lot of new growth. Um, I think he needs a lot more humidity than I'm giving him or in his spot because some of his new leaves come out like really disfigured, like they have a really hard time coming out of the sheath. And um, usually whenever that is a problem, that means that they need more humidity in order to come out of the sheath and uh, not be damaged, if that makes sense. Next up, we have my philodendron Birkins. Birkin? Birkins. Um, this guy and I have been struggling. Um, he has been putting out a ton of new growth, but he's also lost a lot of growth. So I'm not 100% sure what that's all about. Like I know like right here is, it's, it's really nasty, so I need to get rid of that. Um, but he's got a new leaf coming out right here. Um, I got this guy from my Publix. Um, it was really, really strange because I got him the first day that they were put out. Tons of cat hair on here. Um, I got it the first day that it that they were put out for sale, and uh, probably like a week or two later, a lot of the leaves started turning like a really really strange like brown color, and they just like completely rotted off. So I don't know if that was that was my fault, if that was if that was Costa Farms' fault, or if it was Publix's fault. I'm not 100% sure, but we haven't had that since. He's gotten rid of all of those leaves or I've helped getting rid of all those leaves. Um, but I think he's I think he's doing okay. I don't think he's living his best life. Um, I also just kind of like stick him in the corner of my desk and he just kind of chills there. Philodendron Birkins. All right, next up is my Philodendron Burl Marks. Uh, this is, I believe this is my only Philodendron that I have in LECA. If you can tell, he is doing really, really well. He's having, he's living the LECA life. I will have a LECA video coming up, a LECA update video coming up soon. I just wanted to make sure that there were some results that you guys could actually see before I did an update, uh, like a week or so later. Um, but yeah, this guy is doing really, really well. Um, I got him and he was like, he was a, a cutting, but he already had several leaves. Um, there wasn't really any shipping damage whenever I got him. He did lose, I think, two leaves whenever he first got here. Uh, but other than that, he's he's got a ton of new growth all along. 
and he just put out this new leaf and he's working out working on putting out this guy he's living a really good life I don't know um, comment down below I think that these are climbers if he's not uh, let me know down below I think I should I'm thinking about getting him a pole uh, for him to climb up because I'm pretty sure he's a climber I don't think he's a creeper but make sure you comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are all right and this is one of my this is actually one of my first philodendrons I've ever gotten and this is philodendron pedatum I do believe so um, he is very very full very very happy um, you guys have actually just seen him in my uh, recent repotting video for the 4th of July um, he is still doing really really well I think that he I think he really is thriving from that repot I'm just actually watering him right now so my hand is literally dripping um, holding him right now so that I don't get water all over the place um, this guy hasn't been really um, picky at all for me so I'm very thankful for that especially with this being like one of my first like aeroids um, well I'd say he's my first aeroid but I'd say he's my one of my first philodendrons um, he's shown me a lot a lot of new growth and I'm very thankful for that because I feel like sometimes that's one of the like best ways to like forget about a plant is whenever you're not seeing any growth and you're not seeing any updates on it even if it is like a more rare or uncommon plant it's just it's very fulfilling to see that you're doing something right by the plant and he's rewarding you with all of this new growth and that is philodendron pedatum say hello to philodendron squamiferum i love love philodendron squamiferum um i think he's so cute i think i remember seeing this guy um like on other people's tours and plant tours and everything but this was whenever i was still really majorly into hoya and i didn't want to like think of anything else other than hoya and i couldn't imagine why other people didn't want more hoya but i recently gotten so so obsessed with uh plant life in the tropics caitlin is so killer i love her attitude her personality and she actually got a squamiferum to bloom for her and ever since then, I've just been so obsessed with trying to get a plant to bloom for me. I really want to pollinate a plant and just like do the whole shebang and get seeds. I just think that that would be so fulfilling as a plant mom to be able to, you know, get a plant to mature enough to bloom seed and then, or, and then replant those seeds. I think that that would just be like ideal and so cool to do. And that's specifically why I got this plant was because she inspired me she um i just want to be like caitlin and um and i just want my squamiferum to bloom too now i know mine is really uh immature in comparison to hers like her um i almost want to say trunk but it's not a trunk it's not a tree um but his um petioles his stem is much much thicker than mine so we've probably got a long ways to go before anything like that happens but you know a girl can dream come on Okay, so that's all of the philodendron that I have in this room. So let's go outside and see the ones that I have in there because I don't think I have any in the rest of the house. I don't think so. I'm trying to like rack my brain. I think all I have downstairs in the kitchen is Hoya. I think so. So let's go. I almost took you guys downstairs without showing you my two philodendron that I have from Botanicas. And one was an accident. I wasn't supposed to have one of them, but I'm very happy to have both of them. Um, and they're both philodendron varicosums. One is a wet stick propagation, and there are actually results coming out of that guy. And I'm so excited to have two varicosum. All right. Let's show you the one that actually has leaves on it. I have them both in Ziploc bag propagations just because I want them to thrive while under my care. Here's my first one. Got a new little growth point right there. I think I'm going to take this guy out of the Ziploc propagation once this new leaf comes out because I, I don't know, I feel like once that new leaf comes out that, and we see that there's progress, 
I think that that'll be a good time to go ahead and display it so that I can actually see it and not have to like uh, open up the Ziploc bag every single time I want to check on it or anything like that. So there is my philodendron varicosum A. And it's hilarious that I'm more excited about my wet stick propagation than I am my actual full plant of varicosum because I didn't think that this guy was going to do anything. Like I had high, high hopes that he would do something, but he actually is. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a nub. Look how exciting that is. I know it doesn't look like much. I showed my boyfriend it and he was not impressed at all. He was like, it's funny how you uh, get so impressed by your plants when they're doing the most minimal amount of work. And honestly, for a stick to be producing growth is crazy and exciting. And I don't know how more people can get more excited about that. Fabrizio. <sighs> Boys. All right. Now we can go downstairs and outside and I can show you the rest of my philodendron. All right. So now we are outside and please disregard the mess. I'm going to be cleaning it today. Let's just overlook it and pretend it's not there. But this is my Philodendron Prince of Orange that I got from Home Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't know. Which are the one of the two. I got it for like $12. And this guy is never not giving me new growth. I love, 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 love watching these guys uh, like watching the new leaves come in because they turn out to be like this really, really bright. I'd almost call it red color and it fades to this color and it fades to this color and then it fades to a more darker green which is super duper cool and super cute to me um here is my philodendron is it a head i believe um let me get him down for you guys I'm just gonna plop him up like right here so he is very, very much large and in charge. I got this guy from Home Depot for sure. And um, we've had some good times and some bad times. He's lost a lot of uh, leaves up at the top, but he is still just tendrilling down and binding down like a champ. Um, he's never not giving me new growth. And since I've been fertilizing him recently, he's been putting out even more new growth. Um, I've definitely taken several cuttings from this guy and he just, he's just thriving. He's having a good time. Um, right over here, I have my Philodendron Brazil. Um, still, you know, finicky. He's not, I don't wanna say he's finicky. He's just like, not the happiest with me. Um, every single time I put him somewhere, he always ends up falling over and I don't know, he's just, he's just not the happiest person. And we're gonna do something about that. I'm gonna try and put him into a heavier pot so that way he is less prone to falling over whenever the wind is blowing. <laughs> what else do I have? Do I have anything else up here? Whoops, I almost forgot about my neon philodendron who is so tiny but so cute and already putting out new growth. I can't wait for him to become a nice full pot. Okay, so that's the end of the tour. I know I don't have a ton of philodendrons, but since I feel like I just recently kind of started collecting them within the like the last, I don't know, six months or so, give or take, maybe, maybe since the beginning of the year. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot to get it show. I almost forgot to show you guys my philodendron mommy. It's kind of difficult to show her off because she's in a really big pot now. Uh... <laughs> this is Philodendron Mame. She is a big girl. She came with this leaf and this leaf and she put out this leaf in my care and she's working on another one. I'm so excited because every single leaf gets a little bit bigger than the previous one. And I think if I had to pick one of my favorite, like if I had to pick my top two favorite philodendrons at the moment, it would definitely be Philodendron Mame as number one and my Squamiferum as number two. Uh, 
don't look at my nails, they're horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm filled in mommy. So beautiful, so gorgeous. I can't wait until she gets, I don't know, a little bit bigger and starts to trail along the pot, um, which you will see me repot her into this guy. Um, and I think I, it's an upcoming video. I haven't scheduled it yet, but I've already filmed it and edited it and it's ready to go. I just gotta pick a day. Um, but uh, Caitlin from Plant Life and the Tropicals uh, filmed a video like this where she did her Gloriosum uh, in a pot like this. And I thought that was a really cool and neat idea. Who knows if it uh, will, you know, 100% work that way or not. But in theory, it seems like a good idea to me. Um, but I only water this side of the pot since that's where like the main roots are. I don't want to be watering the whole entire pot until it starts growing more of this way. Okay, now that is the end of the philodendron tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time showing you guys around. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any like particular philodendron that I'm really wanting to find at the moment. Um, I mean, there's a ton of them that I'd like to have, but I'm just not willing to pay for. I really want a plowmanii really badly. Um, why do I feel like there's a philodendron luxuriance? Or is that an anthurium luxuriance? I'm not 100% sure off the top of my head. I feel like sometimes um, names between genuses uh, kind of get repeated, so sometimes it's hard for me to remember which one is which. Um, but I know plowmanii is definitely on the tip top of my list uh, for the lows. I hope you guys have been enjoying 31 days of daily uploads. I will be uploading a video tomorrow as well, so I would love if you guys watch tomorrow's video as well. Um, and don't forget, if you really like the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you really, really like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Um, if you have any requests, leave it in the comments and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!